It felt great to be the first woman to win the title U.S. National Aerobatic Champion. I, um, you know, it really gave me something to prove because when I started competing, I really didn't even care about winning that much. I just wanted to fly and do this amazing flying aerobatics. And, um, and then I, you know, people were starting to be a little condescending and, oh, isn't that cute? Another girl. And I started asking people, um, you know, why has there never been a woman national champion? There have been some really good pilots. Up until 1972, um, it was com it was segregated. So there was a feminine champion and the national champion. And after 72, you know, to their credit, they combined them, but there hadn't been a woman. I think there had been a woman in third place. So I made it my mission. And um, and part of that mission was educating people that, um, that there was no difference, you know, between a man or a woman. It was all about how you approached flying and so on and so forth. So I think by the time I won it, people were really supportive and really in my corner and really wanted to see me win because I was on that mission. Now you return to East Africa every year. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing there?